Right, it is News Bites time. Hello, I'm Lois. Welcome to Espresso News Bites. Coming up this week. I really enjoy News Bites because it helps you learn about what's going on around the world. We learn about lots of things, meaning like animals, world records, pollution, how to stop pollution. Things that affect the world, such as typhoons and even the flood that came into Venice. News is used right across the school, so some teachers use the daily news. Let's have a look at what's going on. This is your daily news, here's your 67 update. Year one up to year six, use the weekly news and use the quiz. What is special about the Cosmic Crisp Apple? As well as the weekly and the daily news, we also get a weekly topical programme which tells us about religious ceremonies, festivals all around the world and not just in this country. OK, come and sit on the carpet nice and quietly. Tuck your chairs under. Our news is just the key stage one. We have to listen very carefully. They ask you questions about the news. What happened in the Australian bushfires that is also something that had to happen during the Great Fire of London? I don't think I would know where to start with teaching children the news if we didn't have something like News Bites to use. It can be really hard to decide what children should be exposed to and what they shouldn't be. So having the News Bites there is really handy because we know that what we're showing them is right for their age group. <laughs> They had to be evacuated. And what does evacuated mean? Every day we have a news programme which is made just for us in Key Stage 2. A lot of things do come up from the news. The other week we looked at the Berlin Wall and what that was and, and what that meant for the people living on either side of it. And it's for me then to talk to the children about what those stories meant and the context of it and, and why it's important today. I think it's better if you watch Espresso News Bites because it mentions negatives but it speaks in a way that doesn't really scare you as much. When you learn about this stuff it makes you worry more about our earth but if we learn about the world and all the problems maybe when we grow up we can, we can change those things. The way that the Daily News can link into their current topics that they're studying really supports their, their, their work and their understanding of what they're doing in school and in the classroom. You don't know that you need it until you've tried it. Um, it wasn't something that we always did um, in my last school and then when I moved to this school we do it all the time and the children here are so much more open to discussion they can talk to you about things that are going on in the world um, I just think it's really going to help them as they grow older it gives them a head start <laughs>